Americans got every right to be mad as hell. Some lawmakers are not hiding their feelings about the $900 billion stimulus bill that passed the House and Senate following months of gridlock, including President Trump, who's calling for much higher one-time payments to Americans in need. I am asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. I'm also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items from this legislation and to send me a suitable bill. Democrats agree, including Georgia Senate candidate John Ossoff. For folks who are unable to make the rent, can't make the car payment, can't afford the prescriptions, behind on the bills, $600 is a joke. Republican Senator Rand Paul is against the bill entirely. If money really grew on trees, why not give more free money? Why not give it out all the time? Why stop at $600 a person? If we can print up money with impunity, why not do it? The Treasury can just keep printing the money. That is, until someone points out that the emperor has no clothes and that the dollar no longer has value. President-elect Joe Biden says he will challenge Congress to do more for struggling Americans when he takes office. Early next year, I'm going to put forward to the Congress my plans for what comes next. We'll need more help. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi late Tuesday tweeting in response to the president, Republicans repeatedly refused to say what amount the president wanted for direct checks. At last, the president has agreed to $2,000. Democrats are ready to bring this to the floor this week by unanimous consent. Let's do it. Senator Chuck Schumer on Twitter called for the president to sign the current bill to keep government open, but added that we're glad to pass more aid Americans need. Live in the newsroom, I'm Cristian Benavides, Pixel of News.